So Henry, is anyone forcing you to embrace Islam? Did anyone force you? No, not at all. And what made you come to Islam? Why did you? How did you see the light? Basically, over the summer holidays, um, I I had never really followed a religion in my life, and um, I guess I just looked into it because I was curious, and um, it's just so amazing and so overwhelming that like I can't believe it. Wrong. There is no God worthy to be worshipped. Except the one true God. Except one true God. Allah. Allah. Okay. And I swear. And I swear. Muhammad. Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. Okay, now we can do it. This is Frederick, and I live in Finland with my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I just wanted to tell you about my, my conversion, the whole story. <clears throat> so let me start with parents. Uh, it's a Protestant, a Christian Protestant family. Well, we've never really been religious. A masjid where I took my shahada, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu an Muhammad rasulullah. And basically, after that, I'm just a Muslim and I'm really proud to repre represent Islam the best way I, I try at least. Even though sometimes it's very hard in the Western society. Sister Aisha, just uh, we want to know first of all, how old are you? 75. You're 75 years old. And uh, tell us about how you became Muslim, you know, because it's very, it's a, it's, it's a very uh, nice story and I want to, you to tell our viewers a bit about what your life was like before Islam and how you came to Islam. I would Islam. just like to tell you something, that here, with your blessings, I accept Islam and repeat the kalma. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Mashallah, sister, may Allah, may Allah bless you, and may Allah grant you jannah, inshallah, sister. And welcome, to sister. Shakautu ila wakiri su ahibdi wa arshadani an tarkil maasi wa akhbarani bi anna bi anna ilman nur wa nur Eric is as Texan as they come. He was about to become a Baptist preacher when he converted to Islam. Islam is everything I want Christianity to be. It's got such a, a magnetic attraction to it. It's a way of life that chooses to worship an unseen God through a process of daily living. <laughs> Where are you from, Mexico? I'm Mexican. Mexican, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, are you born here? Or no, I was born in Mexico. I came here uh, one year and a half ago. Okay. And how long have you been Muslim? For a week. For a week? Wow. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that's good. Mashallah. How, how did you know Islam? How did you, uh, or let's talk about first about your life for Islam. What were, were you Christian, but what kind of Christianity were you? I was a seven-day Adventist, you know. Uh, for some reason, I think that Seventh-day Adventists in Islam have the same rules. Capital Austin, and is professor of biology at St. Edward's University. You find someone poking around inside your nostril, right? They're just worried about you. <laughs> okay. A college friend of mine gave me a copy of the Quran. I was pretty darn excited to know that there was actually a religion that was what I believed. I've been Muslim for about 25 years. Most Friday mornings, Fadama hosts a prayer group at our home, and among the faithful are two other Irish converts, Eileen and Michelle. Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Welcome to the Dean Show. Assalamu alaikum, brother. 
Brother Clay, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine, thank you. It's good to have you here with Brother us. Brother here, uh, Clay, and you accepted Islam how long ago? About four and a half years ago. Tell us, uh, for our viewers, uh, how what brought you to Islam? You know, it's uh, one of those things. I turned 40 years old, and I thought to myself, half my life is over. I should get some better fire insurance. <laughs> the, uh, in my 20s, I was a very evangelical Christian. This is the story of three Chicagoans, all raised as Christians, all who decided to ultimately reject that religion. Internet is down. Nadira Rodriguez Muhammad grew up Catholic, but found herself constantly questioning the long-held beliefs of her family. I always felt that something was missing for me. Ian Bushner is a law student at the University of Chicago. I felt like that. Uh, there wasn't a God. Whitney Nichols is a new Loyola grad who grew up in suburban Streamwood. I guess what I was really looking for was what felt most natural and most logical to me. When Nadira entered high school in the mid-1990s, she became friends with a group of Muslim girls. They just had a, this level of contentment and a sisterhood that was... Yeah, I wanted to be a part of that. <laughs> Die Universität Bochum und studiere Orientalistik und Sozialwissenschaften, Politik, Gesellschaft, Wirtschaft. Ich wurde, Alhamdulillah, mir wurde, Alhamdulillah, die Gnade und die Barmherzigkeit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala vor circa vier Jahren zu teilen. Alhamdulillah, ich bin gebürtig in Polen, geboren worden. Subhanallah, immer wenn die Polen Muslim waren. Gibt's ja gar nicht. Allah, ehrlich, Subhanallah. And she was like, if that's what you already believe in your heart, that there's no God but God and Muhammad is the messenger of God, well, then you're already a Muslim. Being Muslim has brought many changes in Laura's lifestyle. I stopped drinking, stopped going clubbing, and my sleeves started to get longer. Now covering up more feels right to me. Which of his favors can we ever deny? We may have everything or nothing at all, but our purpose lies with this call to worship him, to praise him all day, unto the straight path let's not go astray. He is the greatest and most merciful, and everything acts upon his will. So what a wonderful world this would be. I, I am a convert to Islam. Uh, I, it, came, it was a gradual process for me learning about Islam and seeing how great Islam is. And where are you from in the States? I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. And alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to be Muslim and so proud. So I um, broadcast it. And Sean so now converted to Islam against his commander's wishes. They got married secretly at a Baghdad restaurant, squeezing the ceremony in between two patrols. We had to meet, ask the judge to meet us somewhere. What uh, really made me come into Islam is, uh, I think it was last year, uh, this guy in Denmark, he drew a very, very bad picture of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And um, I wasn't even a Muslim, but I was like... I was really angry. I was like incredibly upset because, I mean, think about it. Who's if, if so? What if you're not a Muslim? If whatever religion you belong to, if somebody disrespect your your religious figure, I mean, just think about that. So I got really, really, really upset, and um, and I started saying, "Who is this Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam?" And and so I started to look and uh, look search books and uh, and the internet trying to find out who is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and uh, what I found was amazing. So I started to really like him. However, Allah subhanahu wa taala, when it's His time, when He's ready for you, it's nothing that we can do, you know, because Allah called all all those whom He chose to Islam. So He chose me.